Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Monday, number 16 day for this month of September 2024. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, sense past king, Lukong. Wuna welcome to another episode of our daily podcast. A program who would bring una the truth, would bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as to the worker for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Our good people at home and abroad, our political prisoners, refugees and IDPs are bring una all liberation greetings. We we'll start today with very disturbing details them who we'll hear them for a case we'll then highlight them without getting into too much detail and put them for focus. The Kale Kale will then happen for Bamenda and for Boya simultaneously carried out by La Republic to Cameroon, their forces them where they really impose themselves upon our people. Even though as an organization we we'll never put out a public statement one for call the mass arrest will take place for inside Ambazonia as a gross human right abuse for our Anglophone population or our territory or our people them for inside our Anglophone zone. Recently the Cameroon Iran redeployed troops them, additional bees them for inside Bamenda and for inside Boya, given the rise of tension during this school opening where Iran leads to lockdown call our people that don't receive a double whammy of punishment from both our own picking them and now for La Republic who want for highlight them. This incident if it happened now on the 8th, that means say already more than one week ago, but one for highlight them because of some report then we would not read them from uh, some NGO then waiting there for ground zero. It be very disturbing report for the details and for this thing will be happen on Sunday. La Republic they use justification so then they under a situation of war and it trigger such result such result where they did use enough for opportunity for exploit our people them each time they come for our territory. For Boya, it happened now for Banakanda village, according to the lawyer their office, then we would then talk with them and see the reports them. Over 70 people them they be arrested from their houses without any justification, any question asked, or even their ID them be asked, then carry them go down for gendarmerie legion for Insa Boya, then keep them for the for length time we vary until they pay ten ten thousand before they will be released without any documentation for most part. Majority of those people them they suffer the same fate like the one for Bamenda, their telephone then lost, their property then lost all money where they hold them for their skin, then lose them all. The two law firm the way they intervene. Now you get the legend law office and the legend human rights foundation where they enter for the rapidly for try for get give legal support for those who then be arrested. No justification was given. It was just the Cameroon military doing what they do best exploiting our people for the little that they have. Simultaneously, for instance, Bamenda, the Cameroon, their forces, then carry out the same Kale Kale raid that same Sunday morning for 8th of uh, September, targeting people the way they live for the top three, for Manchu Street, for Noble Man, a total of over 430 people then be arrested, almost quadruple the one way they arrest them for inside Boya, then carry them go then for inside uh, Oost, O police station for old town they no be get enough place and put someone then for yard they shoot down for open air na big humiliation for our people then for they go through this experience where they no get no justification no law be used then just be picked up because the Cameroon gendarme the way they don't come for our territory then they come now can collect their own money and they know saying that the thing that they expect them when they deploy them for this war zone now for harass people them take money do an a pure kidnapping for ransom. Our people then be shocked, family then be traumatized with this experience. These are the things we must fight to stop. We must condemn and highlight to the international community and work hard such that this declaration of war and this situation of war should come to an end so that our people can live their life in peace. Other things that already happen. The Catholic Nuncio, where Naibi the direct representative for Pope Francis, 
It then grants an interview following appeal for a message will come off of Pope Francis for the Ambazonian soldier them. It then give a detailed interview where it then talk details about which way if they try for communicate them. I will try for highlight which way talk them for that interview. Number one thing he insists say there is no way for anybody where in the guarantee education right for our children them for inside our territory where the person fit talk say he love our people them or he de represent our people them say there is just no way those two things they need to go together so any man we need to guarantee education for our picking them that man can never say he de represent our people them or their interests the second thing we talk am he talked about the legacy for cardinal to me we then put the vision for for people them for negotiate and we will lead up to the convincing Pobia for grants the grand national dialogue he talked about that one extensively say we get the backing for pope john for pope francis he also mentioned the work of the bishops them say them be very critical for the pope he effort for try for push the agenda for help cameroon for solve the problem the way get them he gives a do one one of the reasons why the secretary the vatican secretary of state he will visit cameroon last year Say that in C C the Pope he go support negotiated settlement for this problem we'll get them with La Republic du Cameroon. My own country people them. There is one consistent message we we'll don't get them from diaspora, ground zero, ground one, ground two, whatever place we were people that they would not get a consistent inquiry with parents them, people that they sponsor their family them. They don't ask one question way, multiple people they don't ask them. Now when our people then feel go back for school, now when life go resume, now which day we lock down in the end, now which day we lock down in the end. I don't tell you now the very nature of how confused our people then be, the type of wicked people the way they don't position themselves as leaders. Number one, Mark Barata, for the same platform, he announced and say lockdown in the end day for two weeks now so that them they don't announce them. For the same platform, the same Mark Barata, he talks in on the 2nd of October where things they go come back to normal. So that one not just a reflection of the reality of the confused nature for this our struggle. We don't get over five different groups that are announced different date for lockdown. All the claims in the ground zero, they talk, the one in the way diaspora, they don't can they talk. So the best thing we are people that need to understand, na say, na the fear of the unknown. It govern our territory. No be love, no be political group, no be collective struggle, no be two way people then want them. Now the fear of the unknown, it dictate which way it happen for ground zero. Any Tom and Jig, if he can declare lockdown for create an enabling environment where it will be dangerous because of the multiple actors away then they people go the fear say you come on, you don't know what and I will kill you. If it be Amber, if it be La Republic, because Ambazonian diaspora leadership, they never ever be factual. They go always justify anything. So anybody can do anything. La Republic not the same. The administrator, they go always justify anything. So our population, they go rather stay at home so long as there is this threat that is put out there by anybody, anytime. So till the 2nd of October, this threat is not going to go away. And people, they go always get the fear, save them, go outside something if it happened for them. Whether that fear, it be baseless or it get strong basis. But this time, we know say the fear, it be based, it be, it be real, based on our intelligence on the ground, the risk for our people, their life, it be real. But it also be measured. So our people, they need to calculate how we then fit, overcome this fear because we cannot live like this under fear forever. We, at one time, we must stand up to this bully and this confusion to say no. And we put an end and we are seeing that happening in ground zero. As we done talk um, for the previous presentation, now the interest, vested interest for the dogs of war, say me this lockdown, it happened. We done proof for now the factor the way it shows, say, La Republic, their Konda titles, their DDR center, the dogs of war, they done directly impact and make sure say me this goes down this lockdown it work when i see how they don't close market them i see the tangible threat where they don't get for our taxi driver their union they don't show with those messages them when they threaten these people them trade where they come for people where they know say they get support for Camaro military for their back 
one this link na people the way them be the most deadly because they get fake amber boy them where they work for ddr away when they talk to the can they will kill you they no place where they stay then get back you know they feel come for daylight camera minute you go left them so when things like that happen that fear it be tangible the risk it be real and people they know if you do otherwise so when you get people then like like that way they don't decide say lockdown it go day the lockdown go day whether a person announce them or not they know the key point them hold them so when you get la republic assisted lockdown it go always work it will be effective nobody says some ambazonian leader for diaspora he don't talk or some soldier don't talk they will always use those soldiers and sister for talk because they will mislead them and then those who did the secret relevant for Ambazonia, they will use that opportunity for can stand make announcement. Whether they be influential or not, they know say they will talk the, so far as if it talks until it happen, it will make a maiden look strong for feed their ego. Even when it kill our own people and it is set our struggle backward, they don't care. What they care the most is their relevance. They are scavengers, political scavengers. Our people must overcome. We cannot live like this forever. And we want to congratulate in particularly the people them for Boyo, for come, all school them for Insa come. From day one, when we talk to me, they overcome. Schools all in come went to school following Ambazonian guidelines. There is no school that was closed. There was no school that was interrupted in the whole come land. To the podcast of today, there will be a pictures of students in come who have been attending schools due to our push, our education and encouragement to the people in that area. I choose this particular one to highlight it because the success rate, rate was 100%. There is no school interruption in COM. Schools were interrupted only the first two days. After that, schools went on uninterrupted and want to congratulate them. All Ambazonian them, what are your village, na for your town, if una left una picking the mid and for back, una run destroy another future because nothing will change. We must adjust with this reality. We no go punish our own picking them when it be counterproductive for the main goal we want and for independence, and when it no even makes sense, and when it take away from our people them without any justification. So why would they still wait the second of October? I the call on every Ambazonian. Send your children to school as the Tuesday they come. Nothing, no day will go happen for them. In the pointed area, the way we don't see the risk, it then drops substantially. So people then feel go for school, they feel go about their day to day mar- for, for, for market. We don't try to put pressure on I mean, market. People then can't open the market so that thing, life will come back for town. We don't know whether they will still get that threat for them. But if the dogs of war, they want chop, I think say they don't get enough thing for chop. Me then leave our people then now, me then go. As we talk, as I don't tell you now, this thing get a long-term effect and our soldiers then begin the fall now like Manawa or the fall now like Mungwin inside the hands of the devil because as we create these people the way that they can't spoil struggle for create this situation, giving blank check for this type of things to happen, the effect it come as we see them. This week alone, we done lost six top Ambazonian commanders them. One way happened for inside uh, Bali Nyonga, where three of our soldiers, the way they didn't leave Bali Nyonga, then go for Nigeria, then come back for come visit their house. People then arrange with Cameroon military them, then come for day, they enter for day for kill them. Then key Fei, when a soldier for inside uh, Grandpa for Bali, he come, then keys other soldier where they call him Tumbong, or then a picking away, then come up for one house, and then one other one where they shoot you, yes, he died for inside Bush. So three of them where they come back for their compound. Population, a core Camaro military, then come for the base on information we get and can kill this boy them. So now see say when would he push boy them, boy did he do all this rough work and bad things them. When Chaa go bad for them, those where they be the talk say they want justify this thing, they no go there for no place for answer. Also for inside Big Babanki, we yes a rough coin it done for. We never get the details them for how it happened, but we yes a rough coin that an ambush he for for inside uh, uh, Big Babanki. Also for Lobe Estate. We hear say our farmer them for the they arrange with Camaro military them for boy the way they become can collect this tax where they can collect them for our farmer them for the that way the boy then come for can meet or trade at them instead, like the public they don't arrange with them, they can't ambush the boy them. So when I know say before our boy they can't collect money for people then go they deliver. Now when they see the reaction for the people them, it don't change. And the people then get every right 
under heaven and earth for defend themselves against extortionists because they know city boy they, know they can't take this money now because they don't want to go buy weapon or fight the republic they, they can't take this money now because they fit take them now just pure extortion of our people using them like calf like their cow them for can suck milk this have to stop and our people are justified to take measures whatever they need be to protect themselves and their livelihood against such extortion nature need the lie what goes around comes around as would the talk am, even blind man in the one for sleep in the cover he eye no man need the tear mumu and blind man say market it don't close they didn't know the time for go back for house and bazonia we must read the times the general assembly for the united nation to go enter that big debate will go happen now on the 24th of this month with the all the observer the issue of ambazonia in our future for agenda for the united nation general assembly even as we don't secure a invitation for meet up the united nation for a committee we could get over 36 state parties that would engage them for diplomacy in, in november this general assembly you know even show anything for ambazonia the conflict Last time they be the talk and they be the put on the one of those topics the way they didn't neglect them. This time they don't even talk and they need to mention them. And when they see the challenges, they will get them. Now the president for that general assembly, Nafile Munyang, put there by Paul Bia himself. So when I tell we how can we convince anybody so they be marginalized, they will come around the one carry genocide when they don't choose now our own anglophone person put them for day. We should say even the enemy it be wise enough for know how for play politics. We instead we didn't have to provoke the UN. We get foolish people then we got them put them for places of a stand for talk and educate our people for uplift them. Instead they defeat not their own ego, justifying kidnapping for ransom, justifying lockdown at the cost of the life of our people and the prestige and the legitimacy of our cost. That is where we are. But we should we shall keep on fighting and pushing for tangible solution that will move our people forward away from these distractors and leviathans that have taken prey of our people and their liberation struggle as we gear up our effort for push for a negotiated settlement we will help our people then for secure their future against a total loss scenario we will put out the webinar conference we happen with this research at them they don't put out a document that three big, big research at them where they don't submit them for the UN. Now, this document, this research work will be done by professionals with participation on people from ground zero where they educate the international community for the way to happen for ground zero, the reality. They need to follow on our social media for know the reality. So, we will put out a series of two videos. We will help for show our people them this webinar. The Secretary General of the PRAP participated in this forum we have been following this researcher trying to make a case for ambazonia and defend the aspiration of our people for educational purposes we are going to put out the video so that everybody the pc way to really happen because knowledge is power and we will not allow our people to die without because of lack of knowledge capo daniel looking out for you signing off